Hi, I'm Tom from Tom's Tech Reviews, and this quick video should resolve your problem of not being able to pair your Apple Watch to your iPhone. I'm using an Apple Watch SE in this video, but this tech help guide should work with any model of Apple Watch. So let's start with following some simple checks, as they might fix your pairing problem without needing any further action. To check if airplane mode is off, just scroll up like this and there you can see airplane mode is off to check if bluetooth is on on your apple watch just tap on the crown and then scroll over to settings and tap on settings and then scroll down to get to bluetooth and then tap on bluetooth and just scroll down to see if it's on and mine's on so it should be green for on if the first checks don't resolve your pairing problem, the next thing to try is to reboot your Apple Watch and your iPhone. There's two ways to reboot your watch. And the quickest is to hold down these two side buttons, the crown button and the side button, and keep them pressed down. That's it, and then let it go. When it goes, the screen goes off. And now your watch will restart. The second way to reboot your Apple Watch is to hold down this side button, press and hold it down, and then select power off. And then wait a few seconds, probably best to wait about 10 seconds for it to clear its memory. And then press and hold down the side button again. and then your watch boots back up. Reboot your iPhone in the normal way. And if you've got an iPhone 12 to power off an iPhone 12, you just simply press and hold down the, the top two side buttons here, like this. And then you just slide to power it off. The next possible solution to your Apple Watch pairing problem is to make sure that your Apple Watch and iPhone have the latest operating software installed on them. To install the latest operating software on your watch, you will need to have it connected to your wireless charger. Then tap on the crown button, and then again, and scroll across and tap on settings, and then general, and then software update. And on my Apple Watch, I do indeed need to update it to the latest operating software for this watch. So if we scroll down and then tap on download and install. And at this point, you may be asked to accept the software update terms and conditions on your iPhone to enable the latest update to be downloaded to your watch. To check that your iPhone software is up to date, just go to settings and then general and then software update. And as you can see, my software is up to date. The final solution, which should work if all other methods don't, is to reset your Apple Watch. To do this, we need to tap on the crown button and then scroll across and tap on settings. Then tap on general and then scroll down. and tap on reset and then finally tap on erase all content and settings then enter your passcode and then scroll down and if you have the option to erase all and keep plan it's best to choose this option as this is your airtime plan for your apple watch if you have the cellular model like i do After a few minutes of resetting itself, you should be back at the pairing screen, which will allow you to pair your watch again with your iPhone, which is the same process as when you first set up your Apple Watch. Well, I hope this video has solved your problem of pairing your Apple Watch. If it has, please thumbs it up and please also subscribe for a lot more tech reviews to come, including more tech help guides on the Apple Watch. Thanks for watching.